Hey Women's Health, I'm the magazine's beauty editor, Jessica, and with me is Lauren Casenza, the creator of Divalicious. Today, Lauren's going to show me how to apply and remove fake lashes because it's not just a trend anymore, it's an everyday beauty look. Totally. I mean, lashes are amazing. You're not going to get the lash look perfectly on the first try. You definitely need practice. That's that kind of a thing. It's that kind of a beauty thing. But once you get them, I promise you'll be addicted. Okay, cool. What kinds do we have here? Individuals. You just apply one at a time, so they're, they're the most natural looking. Strips can be natural or more glam, but traditionally they're for the glam evening out, like a big girls' night out or a wedding or a formal affair. So those are your strips. But today I want to focus on the Kiss Trios, which are my absolute favorite for, for self-application when you're doing them on yourself. So these are sort of the best of both worlds, where they have a little bit of substance to them like a strip, but also they're small and flirty like an individual. And you can layer these and build them for whatever look you want. Very cool. So you dip the band, which is the strip portion, into the glue just so that it coats it, and you want to make sure that the ends on each side are coated. Okay, the I corners. Always, I always feel like I get the glue on the wrong part, like it's too much on the back or not enough on the top. How do you make sure that it's in the right spot? I hold the tweezers and actually like just dip it real quick in dip and out. End. Yeah, because if you do it this way, oftentimes it gets on the lashes themselves. See how that angle mm -hmm. might pick up product, but this angle couldn't. So if you're worried about that, always do it upside down with your really smart. As we're chatting, the glue is drying a little bit. You want the glue to be tacky. You don't want it to be wet. Okay, so why don't you close the eye, and what we're going to do is try to find the lowest point of the lash line, where the, the actual lash bed, and we'll actually start with the center, and we'll pop it right in. So right away you see that the lash took, right? It's on its own, it's on the eye, and it's, it's not going anywhere. However, the angle is not exactly where I want it, and where, how it's tilted isn't exactly how I want it. So I flip my tweezers from the application side to the back end, and I just and I make sure that the tweezers back the whole tweezers clean before I do that, and I actually just move it around. I just wiggle it into position, and I'm lifting the eyebrow because I want to make sure that I'm getting as the, as it, into that lash line as I possibly can. I really want to get the the bands of the lashes into into the lash line so that it looks seamless. So sometimes you stretch the eye this way, sometimes you stretch it that way, depending on where you're placing the lash, but that's gonna help you really find that lash line. And when you do it yourself, you're gonna be angling your chin, which Jess is gonna see in a second when she does her own. is complete. It looks amazing. Wow, major difference. All right, are you ready to give it a try yourself? Sure. All right, let's do it. Now, lift, you want to lift your chin so that you actually see your full lash line and you want to drop the lash right into the base of the lash line. And then with the, exactly with the back of the tweezer, wiggle it into place. So what happens if I get gloppiness here? Is that bad? Yes. You don't want to have too much glue on the lashes. You just want it on the band. But you can use a little oil-based makeup remover if you want to clean the lash, or you can just discard that lash and get a new one if you've got way too much glue on it. Don't try to make a lash work. Just start with a new one if there's way too much glue. But otherwise, you could just deposit some back onto your palette or wherever you're placing your lashes. That looks great. You're doing an awesome job. So for the last step, you just want to apply a coat of mascara to marry your actual lashes to the false lashes. And the reason you want to do that is so that they're seamless and flawless and it's all combined and beautiful. So pretty. I can't tell the difference anymore. It's like it's... Yeah, it's perfectly fused. Nice. So it's 
to remove the lashes, all you need is an oil-based makeup remover, and you're going to place it onto the lashes to basically dissolve the glue. Hold it on for about 20 seconds, and then pull the lashes with the pad, glide them off in a rolling motion. So you want to be delicate, but yet pull up the base of the lashes, so you'll feel where that strip is. So you can just use a makeup remover pad or wipe, or you can just pour oil based makeup remover onto a wipe and you're just going to press it there for some time and allow it to dissolve the glue. And there they are, <laughs> your be once beautiful lashes. I know, my once beautiful lashes and all of my eye makeup. Oh my god. But you really do see it's the scary. difference, yeah. you know? You know, it's like so natural <laughs> beauty and then glamorous beauty. Totally. You did a great, great job. And again, for those who don't do as great of a job, just keep on trying. Practice makes perfect. Totally. Well, thank you, Lauren, so much thank for coming you. and showing thank us you how for, it's done. Thank you for having me.